Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, Cosmetic Chemist and Trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to talk you through how preservatives are different. Now, if you're wondering what is a preservative and what do they do in personal care products, they are a material that prevents microbial contamination. So really important in your formulas, especially if it contains water. Now, preservatives have two main mechanisms of action. The first one is microbicidal, which kills microorganisms. And the second is the microbiostatic, which inhibits growth and multiplication, but it doesn't kill organisms that are already present. Now, there are a few different types of preservatives out there. There are some that only cover bacteria, some that only cover fungi or fungi, however you like to pronounce it. And there are also broad spectrum, which covers both, all counts of bacteria and fungi. There are also preservatives that are only compatible with wash off products and some that are only suited to leave on. So it's really important to check when making your selection. Most preservatives are only compatible within a certain pH range. So this makes it crucial when selecting the right preservative to suit your formula and its final pH. Some preservatives are heat tolerant and others are deactivated by hot temperatures. So you may need to add some of those in your cool down phase of your formula. And there are some preservatives that are actually affected by charge. So this becomes important when your formula contains ionic substances like surfactants or emulsifiers. Now, there are some synthetic made preservatives and there are also some that are natural, naturally drive or nature identical. So there is one perfect for every formula, no matter what your philosophy is. Now, preservatives are actually highly active chemicals. So this does actually make them a irritant material. But if you use it safely within regulatory limits and at safe inputs, making sure that it's compatible with the formula and skin type, it shouldn't pose an issue. And they are very much needed, especially in formulas that contain water. Now let me show a few examples of some of my favorites here at the Institute. Okay, so my first example here is the Yuxil PE9010 by Shulk. So this is a synthetic preservative. It's also broad spectrum and also covers a large pH range of about two to 12. And it's also heat tolerant. Now it's quite a low viscosity liquid here. And now there's also an eco grade available of this preservative. So that makes it suitable for natural and naturally derived formulas. My second one here is also another synthetic preservative. So this is the Spectrostat by Inelex. As you can see, it's a bit more viscous than the Yuxil. This is also broad spectrum and heat tolerant and covers a broad pH range as well. Now the last two I'm going to show you here are some naturally derived or nature identical preservatives. So these are more suited to your natural products or your organic. So this one here is the GeoGuard ECT by Lonza. So this here is broad spectrum. It's quite a low viscosity liquid and it also covers a pH range of three to eight. So it's quite broad and suited to most personal care products. It's also stable in heat and it's uh, nature identical. Now my last one here is also by Lonza. It's another grade of GeoGuard, but this one here is the GeoGuard Ultra. And as you can see here, it's in a nice fine white powder form. Now this one here is also broad spectrum, but it doesn't cover a broad pH range like the others I've shown you. So this one only covers a pH range of three to six. So this is probably better suited to your products that have a low pH range like your conditioners. And this one here is also stable in heat. So you can either add it during emulsification if heating or in the cool down phase. Well, there you go. That's how preservatives are very different and what they do in a personal care products. If you would like to learn more in depth information about preservatives, how to select them for your formulas, how to add them and suitable inputs, please enroll into our cosmetic ingredients workshop. Or if you would like more professional training, you can study our certificate in advanced cosmetic science or our diploma in personal care formulation. If you enjoyed today's video on preservatives, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below, and please remember to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.